Hello and welcome to Cornish Walking Trails. Today we're staying at Trendaway Farm. Welcome to Trendaway. So we're staying at Trendaway because it was actually recommended to us by one of our subscribers. It's March 2019, we've paid £115 per night to stay here. In this video we will share our stay. Oh my goodness me. The food. Look at them. Demonstrate the kitchen. Yay! Walk to Polpero and show you some luxury. Their website Trendaway says it's a romantic five star Cornish haven and it's on a working farm tucked away in a quiet valley between Polpero and Lou. Polpero is on the south coast of Cornwall. On arrival, we were treated to this truly scrumptious cream tea. Look at them. Well, this is a first for me gluten free scone, and that doesn't look bad, does it? How's yours coming on? Getting there. It's quite an art. <laughs> okay, Cornish man. Cheers. Handsome. This is our room called the Hayloft. Beautiful conversion. Still got the old beam through. Let's have a look. Light switch, do you think? Yes. Oh my goodness me. <laughs> Twin sinks. It's a whopper, isn't it? Look at that. I'm <laughs> looking forward to that in the mm -hmm. morning, aren't you? A heated towel rail. Oh yes, it's warm. So let's have a look at the kitchen. I've been wondering what this is. Let's what? Go. Kitchen. Kitchen. I think it's a mini kitchen. Yay! <laughs> oh, great a microwave, toaster, a couple of hot plates, oh, yeah. there, and a fridge. Oh, and they've even put a little bottle of milk in. Isn't oh, that so brilliant. sweet? Fantastic. So it's the tea as well. Wow. Trying it out. <laughs> Comfy, is it? My settee pose. So we're going to look for an evening meal. I'm starving. Plucking it out of anywhere. We haven't got a recommendation or anything, have we? Plucking what? <laughs> a three pilchards pulled perro. Quite an extensive menu. On the cider. <laughs> Not again. How many of these do I need to drink to get a sponsorship deal? <laughs> Cheers. Yeah, I think we deserve this. Little down did it. Was the rain torrential yesterday? Get on. Get on. Come in the three pilchards and learn Cornish. Now obviously we're here in March, which is out of season technically. And we just walked in tonight, didn't we? Yeah. Off the street. No problem getting a table. We've got a table. I doubt very much it's like that in high season. Yeah, you probably need to phone Ed or what? Yeah, book a table. Yeah. Very good it was too. Excellent. Just what you need after a long day walking. I do enjoy a little stroll after eating a big meal. Just helps it go down a bit, doesn't it? You've taken me down this dark alley. I oh, know, I think, should we turn around now? Come on.
Trendaway breakfast. Breakfast at Trendaway is a celebration of fine local produce in the area. The four course farmhouse breakfast will keep even the most active of our guests fuel for the day. Freshly squeezed. That's looking really good, isn't it? It's going to set me up for the day. I don't think you need any lunch. Right. Hello, boy. Are you gorgeous? So on the website they say, we're surrounded by fascinating hidden coves and beaches and there's miles of cliff paths to walk, so we're going to try walking to Polpero. What we're proposing to do is leave Trendaway Farm, come down to the ford and follow the little lane that comes in at the back of Crumplehorn. So it's kind of blowing a hoolie. Bit wet, bit windy. Wet weather gear? That would be fine. Come on, intrepid YouTuber. Do we have to do this mess, do we, honestly? <laughs> the plan? is to leave the accommodation and turn left down the hill to a ford. Yeah, we'll see how long it takes us. So we wanted to ditch the car this morning and try and get to Polpero without using it. We also wanted to avoid the car parking charges. If you can get to the coast without using the car, I think it unlocks a lot of the southwest coast path for you. Between here, you can get to Polpero, you can go left up the coast towards Loo, or Southwest Coast Path will take you down to Foy. You do look funny. You look funnier than me. What, my sexy waterproof trousers on? I wouldn't overdo it. <laughs> this is a beautiful little country lane. And we've followed this tumbling little brook all the way down so far. It actually does feed into the river that runs through Polpero. It's great as well because it's quite sheltered, so all that wind is just going right over the top of us. It's quite a steep valley we're in. Oh, reunion! Oh, she'd lost him and he'd lost her. So this is another little tributary towards that Polpero River. I don't actually know what the name of that is, do you? Well, so to find pretty. Out. I think this one snuck up on us. But this is the left. I think we need to go this way now. I think so. Are That's you a heavy good swear club? Definitely not. It would be absolutely suitable for you then. Cheeky so and so. This is somebody's garden. There's the house. Feels like we're approaching habitation already. So we know that that's the road leading down into Polpero and there is the back of the car park. So the trouble with Cornish Mizzle is you get dressed up in all your wet weather gear and then you get too hot you end up carrying it all, getting wet anyway. Good old Cornish Mizzle. So we got here, how long does that take us? It took us half an hour but we stopped to film a bit as we went along. It's going to take you about 25 minutes. Yeah. This is the car park anyway in Polpero. It's a huge car park, um, but this does fill up in the summer. Believe it or not, We've been it here does. in the summer, we've been parked at the back there. So we've just walked here, saved ourselves at least five pounds, maybe seven pounds. Yes. I think we could get an ice cream with that. Or a drink in the pub. Or a drink in the pub. Or both. Yeah. So we're here in March, it's not quite so pleasant today, no Cornish sunshine. It's a bit wet, it's a bit windy, but Polpera, if you're visiting in the summer, should look a little bit like this. <sighs> Some walking, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, eight miles today. I'm hungry. What are we doing for dinner? Well, let me just show you this. The hayloft includes a discreetly hidden kitchu. A kitchu? A kitchu? <laughs> Bless you. Do you need a tissue? Oh. <laughs> Shall we try out the kitchu? It's a stylish, compact kitchen tucked out of sight when not required.
Cheers, darling. We've already shown you that Trendaway is perfectly placed to walk to Polpero, opening up the southwest coast path. Here's some more options. The popular town of Lou is only five miles away. We explored Lou last summer using a heritage town guide and learnt loads. Was that the meat market though, was it? Yes. All oh, right. okay. I was going to pay a closer look to it. I was going to stake it out. Oh, Can't see how many meat markets look like that, do you? Like what? Looks like looks quite rare. <laughs> Medium rare. The village of Lerin is only six miles away, offering fabulous creek sidewalks. One of my favourites is the walk to St Winnow Church. The old stannery town of Loswithiel is just 20 minutes away. Loswithiel Bridge. The river was first bridged by the Normans who founded Loswithiel. The Great Bridge of Loswithiel, first documented in 1280, has nine arches. From this town you can actually walk up to Restormore Castle. Let's go and explore the castle. Once you're up there you get some fantastic views down the River Foy. So here at Trendaway it's also a wedding venue. Let's look out the window. So just outside our window is the wedding marquee. Now it's not been in full action whilst we've stayed here. So in all honesty we don't know how it would impact on your stay if there was a wedding here and you were staying here. really enjoyed our stay here at Trendaway. We've proved it's easy to get to the coast and link up with the Cornish coast path in Polpero. Yeah, you can easily get to Polpero and you can easily get to Loo and you can explore all the delights of the southwest coast path from here. It's fantastic. And it has felt luxurious. Everything has been thought of, hasn't it? And you can eat here. Cheers, darling. Or you can just go a few miles down the road and eat out if you want to. Yeah, and you know, you're in a busy area, but this place is really tranquil and quiet, so yeah. everything's on your doorstep, it's fantastic. Just as described, so would you stay here again? Yeah, I would definitely stay here without a shadow of a doubt, it's been a brilliant time. In a heartbeat.